I started this summer under the impression that there is a decent video essay on YouTube for almost every film. Only after promising my mom that I would watch a video essay for every movie I watch until school starts back up did I find out that I was wrong. So I figured I should at least attempt being the change I want to see in the world by making my own. Starting with So I Married an Axe Murderer, starring Mike Myers and Nancy Travis. My dad often claims that this is his favorite movie, and I grew up hearing the name, but my parents waited to show it to me, and rightfully so. Even now, there was a little more pasty butt than I wanted to see. But based on the name alone, I was more prepared for a gory crime drama than the delightful comedy this film turned out to be. When my parents suggest dated comedies, I can be quite hesitant, but this one didn't disappoint like Sixteen Candles did. The key difference being that this film doesn't depend on making fun of marginalized groups. Instead, it's actually funny. The plot itself is a great basis for situational comedy, which is added to by fun, repeating gags and an exaggerated film style that ties it all together. The main plot is pretty linear, and I spotted the major twist about halfway in. But that's okay, because this film isn't a suspenseful crime drama. It's a comedy. Despite knowing where the plot was going, I wanted to keep watching, because the way it got there was fun to watch. Charlie keeps digging himself deeper and deeper into a hole that he doesn't know if he wants to get out of or not, and I was torn right along with him. Sure, this girl might kill you, but look at that smile. The repeating gags are another thing that make this film enjoyable, my favorite being the beat poetry. Not only is the poem structure good fun and the band an excellent addition, but the varying subject is a great way to check in on Charlie's mental state throughout the film. The most memorable parts of the film are the side plots. The first side plot we're introduced to is the police officer best friend. As a character, he provides a lot of plainly stated insight into Charlie's motivations. As a side plot, he's mostly even more comic relief, but his banter with his police chief is funny. And there are also several cameos throughout the film that work well because they use people who are often seen in similar style comedies. The second side plot is the reason most people remember this film, the Scottish parents. Mike Myers playing his own father in an accent that was a precursor to his Shrek steals the show. Sure, the characters are caricatures, but not by that much. I know from experience that Scots outside of Scotland act more Scottish than Scots in Scotland. The insistence on Scottish food and drink, but the dismissal of Haggis cracked me up. This storyline is not only the most memorable of the film, but a driving force in the plot. It is at his parents' house that he first hears of the axe murder, and then when he gathers some of the key clues as to Harriet's possible identity. So something that really stood out to me in this film was how I really cared about every side plot, which is rare, especially in comedy. Now the script can't do all the work in a film. The camera has got to do some. The opening shot is a great example of creative camera work. This film is designed to show off the best of San Francisco. It highlights the Bay, the Palace of Fine Arts, Alcatraz, and even the weather. The comedic suspense throughout the film is highlighted by the frequent use of cutting in or zooming in on Charlie's horrified face. I've seen the film referred to as Hitchcock-esque. It does rely on camera and editing styles used by Hitchcock and in other thrillers especially in the final rooftop chase. There are many direct references to Vertigo. So I Marry a Knack's Murderer draws on the conventions of a thriller to build tension, but releases it through comedy rather than violence. So the first question to ask when viewing a comedy is, is it funny? I think it is. The second is why, and I hope I have answered that.